Amazon slash Smilegate gave us an update on the current top issues with Lost Ark. There's a post about it where they address various issues we're having from the store to even fraud in the game, gold sellers. There's just a lot here for them that they talked about. And I'm going to give you guys the update on it. We're going to go through it. I'll link it to I'll link it in the description below the first paragraph. This is the post. And they said, we are aware of multiple issues continue to be reported over the weekend. We're working day and night with Smilegate RPG to get them addressed. So the Europe queues, they talk about Europe queues and they, they know people are still experiencing the queues. They added uh, EU West, but not everybody you know, wants to restart their character, right? So it didn't really completely alleviate the problem. But if you are not aware, they did provide a second variation of the Founders Packs to all users who purchase them in order to make switching servers more viable. Uh, so that one is just, that's the end of that situation for now. Uh, I don't know what else they'll do about it, but they definitely have nothing posted so far about it. As for server transfers in Lost Ark, uh, not happening apparently because they said the instant functionality does not exist in Lost Ark, and that server is just now rolled out in Korea. And in Korea, it's a weekly batch process that requires maintenance to run, and also it does not support cross-region functionality, therefore it won't even fix the EU problem. And uh, so therefore it's not a viable option for the Western release of Lost Ark. But we will not rest until we've exhausted all options. So they are working on it as best as they can. Power pass functionality, basically, no, we cannot give you a power pass on the new server because the code doesn't allow it. And the people posting this right here, basically my assumption is they're like, we don't do the code, Smilegate RPG over in Korea does. So we'd have to have them make the code and ship it over basically. So it's just not a viable option. The way the code is implemented right now, you have to have a character that's level 50 on your roster before you can get a power pass just from a coding standpoint. You can't just be like, here, take one. So that is one of the issues of this game versus a game like New World. New World is all here in-house, so they were the ones that control this one. Smilegate's over in Korea, and they have to go back and forth to get actual code changes because they're just a publisher. Amazon's just the publisher for this. As for Crystalline Ore update... There are reports of missing Crystalline Aura. They put in a potential fix today that should improve connections while we work to continue on a more permanent fix with Smilegate RPG. And as, as for matchmaking, there's apparently issues with matchmaking. Uh, they're going to restart all EU central servers tonight, which, by the way, is going to be a downtime for two hours tonight at 12 a.m. CET, which I'm not sure exactly what time that is. I don't know CET. And uh, downtime is two hours, and that'll help stabilize the feature, and they're working with Smilegate RPG to try to make a long-term fix to make matchmaking work correctly. Then we have Gold Seller Spam, which you guys may or may not have noticed in area chat all the time now. And they are aware of it. They are going to put a restriction now to where characters below level 35 cannot chat, basically. I'm assuming. Uh, that's They didn't really go with the exact wording on it, but yeah. And also they're letting you know that there's a plus icon in the chat box and you can select the chat types you want to include or exclude in order to hide area chat but still have normal chats. And then there's fraud protection changes. So apparently, just based on them saying this, my assumption is there's instances of people like getting stolen credit cards and things and using them to buy stuff in the game or something like that probably. Uh, so in order to prevent fraudulent purchases, we've instituted a system to track the legitim legitimacy of, play of a player account and implemented a system to limit the number of daily purchases per account. We are in the process of updating the current purchase failed errors in the store with specific error messages so that players can more clearly understand the situation when their pur purchases cannot be completed. And there's ongoing work to appreciate uh, us helping them identify the issues. They're currently working on a fix for matchmaking errors in addition to the server restart listed above and a fix for store stability, latency, and crystalline ore, as well as other lingering store product inventory issues. These fixes will require a, build, a new build and downtime will keep you posted on its anticipated deployment. So basically, a patch is coming soon, hopefully, that will fix the store, because on some regions, we're still having store outages, where like Mari's Secret Shop's just not active and stuff, and you can't. it just says down for maintenance, stuff like that. And then the matchmaking still kind of buggy, even with their thing. So they are working on a patch, and that patch, I don't know when it'll roll out, Knowing these guys with how it's been uh, with patches so far, they literally will post the patch notes and the downtime message after the downtime is already activated. Like in this case, if CET is when I think it is, then that means uh, the downtime was literally like 30 minutes after this post went up. 30 like post and servers go down. There's like very little time to even tell you guys before it's just already done with the way these guys do it. So. Uh, that's what's going on with that. I will link that page in the description of this video. But yeah, so they're working on things. 
They're working on the gold seller issue, as every MMO ever has. New World had it, World of Warcraft has it. Every MMO has that problem in some way, shape, or form. And they're working on the Europe queues, so just hold out EU. They're trying their best to figure out something, but uh, from what I've read, not just this post, I've read a lot of posts on these forums, and generally what it seems like is, what they're claiming is there's an actual code issue where uh, they don't actually, like the code is designed in a way with the server infrastructure to where they can't actually deploy more servers in that same region. It's just not possible for them to do somehow. And I would assume what they mean by that is on top of that, they would have to go to Smilegate RPG in Korea and have them write up all the code for that and then ship it over and pray that it gets implemented correctly and there's no issues with it. And if there are, then the whole game's screwed until Smilegate RPGs. So I feel like that's probably why they want to avoid that as much as possible. And instead they just made EU West, which is not the greatest solution, but it is in fact a solution. So that is the situation, guys. That's everything with their top five, or I don't know if it's five, just their top issues with Lost Ark right now. That's what the devs had to say. That was their input. Uh, sounds good to me. I mean, it's really not their their area. The people are posting right here, like this Smilegate RPG does all the code and stuff as far as I'm aware. I mean, maybe I'm wrong on that, but I think that they do all the code and stuff. So really, they're kind of just like the messengers and they're aware and they're trying to do stuff, but they have to coordinate with Smilegate RPG because they don't actually have the team in place to change things because they're not coders and stuff. They're purely just a publisher. But anyway, uh, if this helped you out, definitely consider subscribing more Lost Ark news and guides and tips and tricks and different things I post all the time right now, February 2022. And that is the news right now. That is the news of the hour. Uh, Lost Ark top issues have been identified. There's a patch coming out soon. And that is everything that they had to say about it.